Hey hey hey, Alias here and uh, here we are with a uh, new script release. Uh, this one is a set of uh, 5 scripts uh, for uh, special effects you can use to ornate your uh, mission with. We have the Firefly script, Aurora Borealis. We also have the so-called uh, space-time uh, rapture. It's something I uh, used in my current uh, campaign. Sorry for the spoiler guys, if you can play the episodes I released yet. And we have the so-called sparks, or more precisely the short uh, circuit uh, effect. You already saw this effect in my nuke and uh, twin scripts and you're going to see it in uh, electromagnetic pulse uh, grenade script which is going to be released in another set of scripts called uh, special grenades. That script will also have the incendiary grenade, the stunt grenade and the toxic uh, gas uh, grenade. But uh, let's come back to the ambient special effects uh, script. The last script we have here is the uh, so-called uh, local uh, sound. With uh, this you can set an object as an uh, emitter for a sound. Since we are here uh, I will explain the local sound uh, parameters. First parameter is the name of the object you want to use as a sound emitter. The second parameter is the name of the sound you want to be heard. Just remember to use the name uh, you gave to that sound in your uh, description uh, file. Then we have the delay in case you want to play the sound in a loop. For instance, I have here a sound of uh, frogs, which is uh, 10 seconds uh, long. And I set a delay of uh, 9 seconds, so the sound will be played in loop, overlapping a little. So we have a continuous uh, play without a pause in between. If you want the sound to be played uh, only once, just uh, have a negative value for this uh, parameter. The last parameter is the maximum distance in meters you can hear the sound from. How loud the sound is depends also on how you set the sound in your uh, description file and what's the audio level in the sound file uh, itself. For the rest of the special effects, we only have one parameter and that's the name of the object you want the special effect to be attached to. As you can see uh, in my demo mission, I have an object for the frog sound, another for fireflies and one more here for the sparks and two more uh, high up for uh, Aurora Borealis and the uh, space time uh, rapture. When it comes to these uh, two effects, I tried to cut down particles as much as I uh, could, so the special effect still looks like something and uh, doesn't lose the integrity. Even so, this could be too much for some computers. So I recommend testing it, also please let me know how it works. Like I said, an early version of the space-time rapture effect I used in a 12 players uh, mission on dedicated and it behaved uh, very well, so in principle this version should work uh, too. I hope you'll uh, enjoy uh, using uh, this script. If you have uh, questions, uh, feedback or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Until next time, have fun and uh, happy editing!